Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we cover up and move a skunk in a trap. And in the background, you'll hear me talk nice to it. Let's take a look. So as you heard in the beginning part there, I, uh, I'm talking all sweet to the skunk. So skunks do not have great eyesight, and a lot of times when they spray, it's because they're scared, just like any defense mechanism we have. So as you approach a skunk in a trap, you want to let them know, or her, know that you're there. So I usually call them what I call my daughters or my nieces. I go, I'll say things like, hey, sweetness, or let's not spray today, or I'll just let them walk through the process. They have no idea what I'm saying, but it lets them know that I'm there and that I'm speaking slowly. And, uh, and, and, and we want to just keep the situation calm, right? That's step one, because we don't want them to spray. Now, in this trap here had a solid metal door front. So we're going to approach it from the front and I'm going to kind of get real low with it. Now, in this case, you can use a tarp, a blanket, a sheet, a towel, whatever. I just had a contractor bag here, but you don't want to just throw it on there because just like if somebody threw something at you, you would, you know, jump and a skunk's not going to jump. He's just going to spray. So you want to just gently cover it up and just keep talking to them. Once they're covered up, they usually won't spray, but I still wouldn't put the trap in the back of a sedan uh, by any means. So we're going to put this in the back of my truck and we're going to take it off site here. So again, you want to approach very slowly. You want to let them know that you're coming so you don't scare them. And then you want to gently cover them up. Now, you're going to be surprised at how much dirt they've excavated underneath there. So the trap may be much heavier than you anticipate. The other thing is before you ever move a trap with an animal in it, verify it's closed and latched because I myself have had quite a few raccoons and squirrels crawl right down my leg and off and out of the trap. So make sure everything's closed up, covered up, and let them know you're there. And typically you won't have a problem. So if you live in Berks County, Chester County, Lancaster County, or Southeastern Pennsylvania, and you have wildlife issue, it's time to call Prudential Pest Solutions at 484-401-4361. We're a veteran and family owned and operated pest control and wildlife control company. We're fully licensed and insured, and we're veteran and family owned. Can't go wrong with that.